Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the new multitasking features for iOS 11 running on an iPad Pro 10.5 inch model. Now these same features will also apply to the older iPad Pro models such as the 9.7 inch, uh, the 12.9 inch old version and the new version as well as many other iPads that I'm listing on the screen right now. So they're certainly not exclusive features for the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, rather they are for iOS 11. All right, so let's dive in and find out everything about the new multitasking features. And I do wanna let you know that there's more than just multitasking to the iOS 11. And I created a video that covers all the non-multitasking features also in a separate video that you can check down in the description box below. So make sure to go watch that as well. But in this video, we are going to concentrate directly on multitasking only. And before I dive in, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. Now there's three components to multitasking that you should be aware of. One of them is called the slide over. The second portion is called split screen multitasking. And the final version is called PIP, which means picture in picture. So let me show you all of them one by one. The first one is, let's say that you have a Safari and you're browsing the web. And let's say you looked at something and you quickly wanna make a calculation or maybe you wanna take a look at news really quickly. All you have to do is pull the new dock from the bottom and you have to stop. If you keep going, the whole multitasking pane comes right up. But uh, basically you just go to Safari or any other app that you're working in, pull down from the bottom, stop right here and then choose the app that you want to use from this doc, such as the news, and just drag it and drop it right there, and it's going to justify itself towards the right. So this is called a slide over uh, multitasking. So basically the great thing about slide over is you can actually, both windows are active. So you can use this window, and if you want to read the news really quick, you can do it as well. Or perhaps you can pull up the calculator application and do a quick calculation and just send, send that window away. Other things you can do right now in the slide over mode is you can grab this guy and you can move it to this side if you so desire, or you can move it to that side again. And when you're done with the slide over window, you simply push it to the right and it's gone. So that was slide over. Again, boom, grab the music application, just drop it right there and start playing music. When you're done with your music, you can go right here, you can play music. Both windows are active. When you're done, swipe it away just like that. So that's the quicker form of multitasking. The next form of multitasking is called split screen multitasking. So basically you do the same exact thing. You pull up a window, let's say you wanna read the news, you pull that, you drop it on the screen, just like that. But this time, you put your finger on the top here and just pull it down and that creates two split windows that you can also resize from the medium, uh, uh, from the uh, middle here. Okay, so now you can have two windows taking the same amount of real estate and you're, you're working on true multitasking. Okay, so again, you can have any app on this side or this side, doesn't have to be Safari and the news. This is just for demonstration. Okay, so now I'm browsing the web and as well, I can read the news if I desired. And of course it doesn't end here. It's best to master these things. So again, like I said, you can resize them as such. You can make Safari smaller and news larger, or you can resize it like that. And then let's say that you quickly want to go and launch a different application, but you want to continue to uh, uh, hold this setup. All you do is you press the home button, or you can just go all the way up like that. And you can switch into a different application such as the files application and just browse and do whatever you want to do. And let's say you want to go back to the way you were working before. Like I said, if you go back up to the multitasking pane, that window, that multitasking window doesn't lose its place. And of course you can create multiple setups just like that. So let's say I'm here, uh, I want to create one more. So let's uh, grab the music application this time, put it right there and let's uh, create a split screen multitasking. Let's split that up really quick. Okay. So again, if I go up here, now I have two split screen multitasking setups sitting right there. You don't have to get rid of them. I can come back here, uh, send a message out here, boom, and then I can go right back uh, to one of these guys. The final thing with multitasking, the split screen multitasking, is the fact that you can drag and drop between two different apps. 
So let me launch the photos over here. Let me bring up uh, iMessage here, right over there. And let's create a split screen multitasking over here. And let's say I'm talking to a friend of mine. I want to send them a picture of something that I took earlier. All I have to do is uh, grab the picture I want to send over and drag it over here. And that's it. Now you can drag and drop between two windows. Of course, that doesn't just work in these two apps. It works across all apps that accept dropping files onto them. All right. So that's split screen multitasking. Again, when you're done, let's say you want to get rid of this window or that window. All you do is you slide the window you don't want away. So if I don't want the files, I can just slide that away and it's gone. Now I'm back in business with one app. And the final thing I want to talk about, which is an older feature, it is actually belongs to iOS 10, but it's also now in iOS 11 and a lot of people don't know about it. So I'm just going to mention it anyway, in case you don't know. It's called PIP picture in picture. So let's say that I have a video application running. Let's just launch Crunchyroll here and let's just play a video, resume that. And let's say that I want to continue watching the video, but I want to get some work done as well. All I have to do is I have to tap this button here at the bottom. That's the PIP button. And that's going to actually minimize that window to the side. Now I can exit the app and I can continue working on Safari or I can continue reading the news. So there we go. So that was news. I can watch video and I can even pinch to make it smaller. I can put it up here, put it up there on that corner or put it on this corner. Oops. You can even hide it by the way. So if I can, I can actually push it all the way. It hides itself and I can tap it to bring it back to my attention. And of course you can actually zoom into it, make it bigger. So that looks even better when you're watching something that you like. Now I just want to make it clear that when you have PIP, you can continue to do split screen multitasking on top of having this PIP window. So I could be right here. Uh, let's say I want to uh, keep browsing as well. I can bring this here. Now I have PIP, I have slide over and I have this active or I can, by the way, I can, if I grab this, put it here, it comes over here, then I can push this over here, whatever you want to do, right? And let's say I want to actually switch to split screen multitasking. I just go like that. Now I'm actually doing three things. I am reading the news, I am browsing the web, and I'm watching a video and I can even modify this, put it up here, up there, or hide it if I want to. That's actually a very good feature. So if I'm doing something, I'm like, okay, I need to put my attention to something. I can just push this aside for a minute, do whatever I have to do right here, and then bring it right back up. And of course, I call this the combination multitasking. And then when you're done with this guy, you can either go back to the app by tapping that button, you can pause the movie, or you can tap on X, and that closes that application. And that's basically everything you need to know about multitasking on the iPad in iOS 11. Remember, you got slide over, you've got split screen multitasking, and you've got PIP, picture in picture absolutely fantastic and of course that brings us to the end of this video guys make sure to follow me on twitter or instagram at saki tech online if you do use any one of those mediums and of course subscribe to saki tech for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up and finally if you have any questions comments concerns just drop them down below in the comments section and we will take a look at it and finally, one more thing, if you want more iOS 11 coverage, I dropped some links to other videos that go into even more detail about iOS 11 and its fantastic features. All right, have a great day.